Hi, this is Chantal from the Purring Cat Studio and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am thinking of decorating this booklet, this tab booklet that we made together. Thank you so much for your response. Oh my goodness, this is my most popular video ever. And I'll talk some more about it as we go along. But for now, let me just tell you, I'm having so many ideas to decorate this that I had to share. Um, it's not like you don't know how to decorate. Of course, if you're here, you're a crafter, you know how to decorate. But I've got ideas coming out of my head and I have to use them and I want to share them with you. So I hope you grab your stuff. Um, I can tell you in advance, um, you can grab tabs, you can grab fabrics, you can grab um, tags and digital papers, envelopes grab stuff like that so if you want to craft along you can and if you want to craft later of course you can always pause my video <laughs> whenever you're crafting along with me and uh or if you just want to relax and enjoy um watching all the ideas i come up with well how about we meet each other on the other side of the intro Okay, so let me fix the lamp here. I am in love with this tab journal and so are you. Thank you so much for your response. This is my most popular video. Um, I, I have videos that have like over 2000 views, which is very good, but they've taken a little while to get there, like maybe, I don't know, a few months. This one has gone over the thousand very quickly in about two days and it's well over a thousand now in three days three four days anyways all this to say that i can see that you've enjoyed learning about this and your comments reflect that so whether it's on facebook in the groups i've posted this video or on my youtube channel you're all saying that you are so happy i showed you how to do this and that this um tutorial was clear you understood everything and you can't wait to try it so i thought it would only be fair that we decorate it together now i don't know if i'm going to finish it today and maybe not but i do want to make the main ideas that i've come up with with you so i have gone mad with tap so i'm trying to figure out where i'm going to start with this story now i'm not sure if this video will be released the one where i made these beauties um i'm saying i'm not sure because i always like um second guess my content so some videos never make it <laughs> not that I, that that they're not good i'm just not i i don't know i guess i just well the, i said it i second guess myself so anyways i made these beauties um this is just fabulous and i intend on putting them in the journal but i'll put them aside because that's not what we're doing today and again i apologize if for some reason i end up not putting the video on YouTube about these but fear not there'll be a time where I'll do another video about something just like that so this is the front of the journal um, what else did I want to say before we start um, this in this journal I use a lot of Tim Holtz papers like this a lot of my paper like this one and this one well that's the back of it um, but, uh, book pages and other journals that I've ripped the paper from. Um, this little cutie patootie is also my papers. I really love those that series of papers, I have to say. I did good. I did really good. I mean, look at this. It's amazing. That's the image I wanted to put in the last video, I think, and I couldn't, but I think that's his home right there on this page. He will go there no matter what, so I'll leave it there. And um, so, yes, I have mixed, see, my papers again, my papers, random papers, <laughs> my paper, llama that we will hide. I love you, llama, but you don't fit with this journal. And yes, my papers. I love, love this dragonfly. Love it. And of course, the reverse of my paper and Tim Holtz papers. Now, I did something. The last time we did the binding... I just simply stamped on fabric like so 
and I cut it in pieces as you most of you know and if not I think the next video playing after this one will be the one where I actually make this booklet or you can just look up um, tab binding booklet and you'll find it on my channel I went ahead and I got Tim Holtz um, fabric tape Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> it's so beautiful. I want to cry. Listen, this is amazing. I'll just make things easier. But I, I don't know why, but I'm not going to lie to you. I think my tabs are extremely scrumptious too. And they were made with fabric and glue. I mean, look, this is just as beautiful. Okay. It's, I, I mean, Tim Holtz is the king of beauty in all his creations but I honestly think that if you make your own you're not missing out I'm not kidding I mean we had so much fun I, I know I'm going in I'm a little excited but I'm not kidding and look because it's a I, I always want to say frayed I don't know I know there's a word for this the fuzziness I think it enhances it so I did get them because I couldn't keep myself from buying them but I'm honestly, I think I will do another journal with this. And I'm actually thinking that the next one will be a mix of this and these. And look at these. Oh, it's gorgeousness. Look at that. Amazing. Plus, these, we, we can use them for all kinds of things. I will use them today, actually. And I also got this. I don't know... I just liked it because it was an 8x8 and it's all different types of papers from Tim Holtz. Uh, it's going to be a little hard to flip through with my camera in the way. But what I want to sh so show you is like there's pages like these. Now, of course, those are collage pages. Oh my goodness, they're so beautiful. I didn't see this one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways. Uh, these are collage so technically you you know well you do whatever you want I mean I could rip them in pieces use them in all my other journals but and look at these you know but I've seen hold on where, where is it uh, well pages like this hold on where was it there's a specific page that I said oh my goodness I think I'm gonna use this page and cut it well there's these pictures obviously we can easily cut a picture and make beautiful little embellishments everywhere um this can use it a page why is it that when i want to show something specific well this is one of the pages i thought i could just cut out the square with the numbers and use them as such but there's another one ah, where is it well that's another one too but you can use it as a whole page because it's the whole theme of sewing um these numbers i thought i mean Mind you, I have a lot of fussy cutting as it is, um, but I just can't resist a nice piece like that to make embellishments like dangly dangles. I think those are the pages I wanted to show. Oh, look at those, a, bowl, a bunch of rulers. See, I will be thorn, and this is what's going to happen. I will be thorn between using the pages as is you know, like cutting them to whatever size of things I'm doing or fussy cutting elements out of it because I'm too in love with the little pieces I see. So yeah. Oh, look at that. Well, I didn't expect I would be showing you the whole thing, but here I am. I hope you don't mind. Sorry. <laughs> I just can't help myself. But yeah, so I... I think I will use some of it today. Some of the pages I recognize from other kits that I have, but not a lot because I don't have the other one. So that's why I actually got this because I thought the the sampling of pages was very interesting for someone who doesn't have all of his papers. And I already pre-cut something from a, one of my kits because I do want to make a dangly dangle. At one point, I got some fabric out. So let's see what we create and I have to stop talking <laughs> I know I want to incorporate uh, an envelope in this uh, tab journal so what I've done is I hold on I 
I, uh, I paused because I heard something. So this is uh, from my latest kit. I don't remember, of course, the name. What else is new? It's my own stuff. I think it's called Birds, Flowers, and Butterflies. Um, it's extremely scrumptious, even if I say so myself. I am very, very proud of it. So I cut it up. I inked the edges. I just wanted to show you, you know, it comes, you know, when you see it on the page, of course, it's already open. You have to cut all the little white around it. You ink the edges and then you put it together. So we'll do that right now. Um, yeah, so, oops. <laughs> yeah, I have to do it the right way first, don't I? I'm so excited. I can't, uh, oh, what am I doing? Oh my gosh, Chantal, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wow. I am excited. I can't think straight. <laughs> so I will let you know in advance, okay? This envelope is not perfect. And the reason is I am not a designer, like computer designer. I don't know how to say it. Anyways, I'm not a designer. So when I go on these programs to try and create something like an envelope, I don't know how. And I don't have the template and I have to create this envelope out of squares and triangles literally and I'm not even exaggerating here at all oops I can't put glue there it's gonna glue at the bottom of my envelope not exaggerating in the least so the only thing I can say is once you fold it it doesn't look like it's not the same because once you fold these two things here you can see that one is lower than the other and I don't know why I really don't and it was so difficult for me to create this envelope that I decided to leave it because I knew that once you fold it it looks perfect it looks nice it's gorgeous there's nothing wrong with it so I really didn't want to play with it I might have not cut it properly here though um, and you know I've I've had other kits that I've purchased from creators that are clearly designers and even then it happens that it's not absolutely perfect and it's not because of their creation sometimes it's just the way we you know we use the scissors and whoops we went a little sideways right so it doesn't matter there perfect okay and now I will also just ink the fold edges like so I know I want to use it in this journal. Okay. Oh, it's lovely, and I think it matches the Tim Holtz papers right here. Look, with all the birds. Okay. So that there's an idea here that I I had today. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it, but I think I'm going to do this first. I also have to decide which page I'm going to do to use on the front so I don't know what it is with me and birds lately like I said I, I must be feeling the spring Ooh, I just want to see something here this would be nice oh I like it here I like it because it's light color it has blue and this is blue so this might be going there so I'm just gonna put that aside for now I also grab one of my homemade uh, papers I have a video on that too I can try and link it in the description box um, but the title I think is I actually don't know I'm sorry <laughs> how to make our own papers no I'll link it it'll be a little easier <laughs> okay I have to decide where I'm going to put it oh that's a nice journaling page that also can be journaled on. It's dark, but it's still pretty empty, so maybe not there. Oh, now that's interesting. I think it's interesting simply because this is a page where you can't really journal. It's very dark, very colorful. Um, and the idea I have, which you will know in a minute, I think this would be... I think this would be pretty lovely but I'm just trying to figure out my design okay I think this okay I'm gonna put this aside I know you're I'm getting I'm not very clear my idea was to make a like a little tag booklet 
a really quick one using tabs but opening it all kinds of ways so my idea was this would be let's say this is the page this would be on oh my goodness my papers do look lovely with tim holtz <laughs> tim holtz if you listen if you're watching okay <laughs> after i just said i'm not a i'm not a creator a designer i mean okay my idea was i wasn't sure if i wanted to have this attached to the top of the page and you flip it and once you flip it let's say this is the one underneath so once you flip it so I didn't know if I wanted like to have a multi tab like so and then and then these would open up so you got yourself something really really interesting but see um, as I'm talking to you this is the design I'm coming up with but I had another one before I started the video so clearly the possibilities are endless and I'm realizing this right now but you know what I think I will come with this design oh I don't know wait now I know this uh, this is white space to, that you know could be used to write on but I also like the idea of not everything being complete so because this will be like the, like so and these you won't see right away and then mm, once the person flips it they'll be open be able to open and then you have a whole writing space maybe I, ju I should just leave it to that and not at this one this was just for more pal <gasps> oh it could open this way oh my gosh okay you know what we're gonna do I'm going to first color the inside because everything is too white and then I will start applying the tabs so I'll be right back once the coloring is done. Actually, I'm just going to start. Oops, sorry about that. And then I will pause the video. Okay, so I've colored the back, but I've also realized that I want to print in the back of them a tiny bit, just so they're not completely empty. I know this will become like writing space. That's the whole point of this madness <laughs> um, so I will put random stamping here and there like so perfect and maybe some more with this in another color just a tiny bit just to you know have some interest um, how about my faithful um, I want to say mocha oh espresso yeah I'm in the coffee zone <laughs> mocha is what I drink <laughs> okay mm. random here tiny bit there here tiny bit there there we go that's all it needed just a tiny bit of enhancement okay I'm gonna take this paper my ugly working paper. <laughs> it's actually starting to look pretty. <laughs> okay, so we've done that. So this will be the one I want to see first. So then we flip it. And then when we flip it, do I want, I think I do want that like so. And and then once you flip it you know what I'm trying to do hold on let me figure it out so let's say we decide that this will be this way you know something like that or this one or whatever so let's say this and then this this will fold on top and this will fold like so so you would have this showing on your page then you say why is it so thick and then you, then you know it's tab attached so you flip it 
and then you have maybe I'll put a little little tab and a little indication here to say hey open me up and then you open it and you say oh what is that and then you open it so it would mean another tiny tiny tab here maybe but I don't know if it will interfere no this one would interfere though but we'll see and then once everything is open you have all this journaling space that just magically Okay, you know what? How about we do that? So, the first ones, well, it doesn't matter really. Okay, it don't matter which one I attach first because they don't, the tabs don't interfere with one another. So, I will grab my scissors and um, I'll figure out, like, okay, it's too big, so um, put this aside for now. So Tim Holtz fabric tab come with a backing, just like the washi tape from the washi tape shop. Oh, I've never used them. Okay, so I think this would look amazing. It's funny because I just I'm just realizing that it has, you know, the lines and the numbers, just like what I've just stamped. So really, I am keeping with the style, like so and so hold on this will be attached to the top okay that does not make sense i'm realizing something here this would have uh i think this would have to be glued for it to open this way because at first i wanted this top to be attached to the page but if that's the case then what's the point of well yeah, I'm not sure because I don't know. You know what? We'll see. I'm also realizing that once you fold it, if there's any unevenness, we will have to trim a tiny bit more because, of course, these are hand cut. I mean, they're all the same. They're from my kit. I just copied and paste for the size. And all I did after that was change, you know, all the design to what I wanted so I know they're the same size but when when you cut obviously they'll be you know it'll be different it's all hand hand cut so there you go it's okay we fix we fix we fix things we are crafters okay so this is a little better In worst case I can just re-ink the edges of where I cut and it does move, so it's a little difficult to make 100% sure. It's okay. We're just having fun, and in the end, it will all look beautiful. Okay. So for now, I know that this is the top. Ah, uh, wait. Yes, I think this might end up glued to the page. I'm unsure yet, but I will proceed to gluing these first, and then we shall see. I like the idea of it opening and then giving people the extra room to um, journal. I do love these, but I think they're a little, they're not quite what I need for this journal. So I will cut a few. I usually eyeball it and I did say that I probably would not be cutting the same size anyway so why don't I just stop measuring it's not my style anyway <laughs> uh, there I don't know all of a sudden I have this fabric tape and I want to start measuring no let's not change our style I cannot say if these tapes are like if the glue will stay in a good way over time because I just got those in the mail a day ago yesterday I think actually so I actually have zero zero idea of the strength of this glue
the glue behind the, the tape. I know that our tabs that we made together, that will resist because it's glue that I use in the journals, right? It's that tacky glue. So I know that's going to stay because it's on fabric and it seeps through and each fiber is holding on to the paper. I'm not worried about that. But this is not the same, so we'll see. And like I said, I think I think I said it. I'm not sure anymore. Uh, why am I having such trouble today? Um, in my next journal, I want to use both. Tim Holtz and my own with the glue and the stamped on fabric, right? Because I really think it would make a very good marriage, just like my papers are, I think, fitting really well with Tim Holtz papers right now. So there we go. Okay, so. So this would close like so. And like so. See, there's a little, um, how do you say? I'm wondering if I should not have maybe cut it a little. Oh, you know what? When I'm moving it though, hold on now. You know what I'm thinking? Maybe a tape on the outside as well. And it's all still. How can I say? Look, this looks good, but when I add this one, it kind of has a little, but I think it's kind of normal as well, not to expect it to be, oh, the word I'm looking is flush. Flush, flush to everything. Because it is folding papers and such, but you know what? I will add a nice, oh, it actually looks scrumptious, and a longer one looks very good too. Ooh, I like it. Okay, make sure that it's the opening. Yep. <laughs> okay. That is a good idea, I think. Like so. And it looks so beautiful. Right there. Oh, I didn't check the other side. I'm sure it will look good. Yes, it does. Of course. Oh, yes. I like it. It's very nice. I think it really adds to the vintage look. Okay. Now I just have to figure out if I think I should put one here just because it's not going to look finished in my eyes anyways. If it's not let me see. Yes, I will. I will put one on here too. Oops, that's not the one. I have a feeling that I'm going to use this one more than this one. I love the tickets, mind you. But for my journals, I have a feeling that this is closer to my style. But they came in a set of two. Um, I saw there was others with flowers too. I am tempted, but we'll see. I really, truly like the ones we make together, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I really do. I like it. I think it adds, even with the... The birds and such, I don't, I, I don't know, I, I really just like it. All of a sudden it becomes like more, I'm even thinking of adding this little piece here with something else underneath later when we are at that stage. Okay, so now we have to figure out, where's the journal? Right here. So I said it would go, where did I say it would go? Uh-oh. Oh yes, the page that had flowers, because I said it was very... Did I pass it? Because I... Oh, it's right here. Yes. Because we can't really do any writing here. But I liked the birds and the branch, because it's like the birds are in the background. You know what I mean? Like, they're part of the story. So, now we have to determine, do we glue it? Or do I put a tab 
that will show on top and on top there right so that this so let's pretend we put a tab it would have to be a tab underneath and a tab over and would it prevent things from opening is what I'm a little worried about but I could also just glue it there because it doesn't change the fact that you can't write on this anyways and it doesn't take away from the image because this is already in the front so it's not like I'm and you can still open it and have all the journaling space that we created I think that's actually pretty good I think I should glue it there but I also think I will put a piece of tab just for the look and then I'll put some uh, I don't know maybe you know what I'm gonna glue some of this first on the top of the page because I won't be able to tuck it underneath afterwards once everything is glued and I will also make this a little less white not by much just a tad just left over that what what's ever on my brush there okay we're, oops okay um going to put some glue like so Now, yes, I'm going to. It's a shame because we lose this image, and had I known, I would not have put it there. Um, I would have just put like a blank. Um, I would have cut a blank tag, but it's okay. We didn't know where we were going, and I think gluing it down is a better idea so that's what we are doing so I'm putting some double-sided tape but I will also add some glue because I don't like spending ink and then ruining it but oh well like I said we tried to plan and I think this is the best option perfect so I'll just wait for this to set and in the meantime I think maybe I don't know I kind of feel like I want to add something I will because it's not going to stay this way it's too empty like I also have uh, where I thought I had something with numbers stamped or something on one of our pieces of fabric we've done and then I could add this Ooh, that's not a bad idea I'm gonna leave the little birds alone because I want to use them somewhere else um, oops but this would kind of be would be kind of nice just like so I don't know if you see. I like that. It also allows me to pin things to it afterwards. So I think I will do just that. Or, wait now. Maybe just use a part of it. Like so. I think my glue is stuck. Ah, better. Now, I don't know how this will glue to the cheesecloth and such. I think I'm going to add a tad of glue because that's a lot to ask for a glued tape. You know, the pre-glued tape. I think it's a little too much. 
there. Oops. I'm not being patient. I have to let it glue first. Oh my goodness, Chantal, stop. <laughs> stop it. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Bon. I'm going to let everything set because clearly I'm being a little impatient and everything's moving. Okay, so as I was being impatient, <laughs> wanting to glue the glue to glue right now, right now, I also realized that this was bothering me. It kept moving all everywhere because it's only tied to the top with that tab. So I had these little Velcro dots that I purchased at the dollar store. Um, extremely useful. I almost never use them. But once in a while, you need what you need because you need it. And today's the day. And here's why. Because, and I just decided to, this kept doing like this. And I, I didn't want whoever got the journal to say, oh, what is this? And then start pulling and then it comes undone. But with this, you, oops, <laughs> you just Velcro it down and it doesn't move anymore and it doesn't show it adds a little thickness and i think that's just perfect and i also added i had the intention of making a dangly dangle with my word but you know i have many more so it doesn't matter i thought it looked it just looked perfect there so i just glued it and that's it so yes now we have this and when you open it now you realize you have extra room to journal and there we go Okay, so um, I think now this beautiful bird has to be there. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave him like such or try and give him some journaling space around him. So let me see what I could use to add some journaling space for him. I think he is gorgeous and okay. I think I'm in the wrong pile here let me see I have a okay so I've pulled a few items out now I don't want to hide him but if I can provide a tiny bit of journaling space around him like you know something like that comes out let's say so that you use the corner here but you use there that as well but you know what I am thorn and I'll tell you why I just love the background as well and does everything need journaling space necessarily I don't know and do I transform him into a pocket it's not super thick paper and this you can journal on I know there's images but if you have a black you know I don't have to tell you how to journal I know you know that you can write on this so maybe I'll put these aside and stop being so fussy and this beautiful beautiful guy has got to go in there so he's gonna go right now okay so the page was a uh, cut at an angle um, because it's not it was just a page I ripped out and then I cut the binding off of it so it's not straight but I don't think it matters much I wanted the image to be straight more than fitting the page, the page because I didn't want everything to be this way. So I put him straight no matter what the paper was. Plus nothing prevents us from adding something that will distract from it all. So we'll do that. We'll do this after because I want to show you the other idea I have. So I love this background. I mean, he looks amazing. I am in love with this image. I'm sad to say goodbye. Oh, I just love him. I don't like this this does not fit my style nor the colors I'm going for so here's the idea I had I will cut a piece of fabric and I think black would suit I don't have you know I mean I have I have this but I'm not sure this will fit it's too busy no I don't like it so I'm going to use black fabric and we will cover it and then we'll do something else because I don't want to you know just leave a black Page. I want to make sure it goes over the page. Can't see. <laughs> ah, 
Oh, yes. I like that it goes a little bit over. And now I will cut to fit just about this ribbit. Okay. I will apply glue. I need a piece of cardboard because this is thin and the glue will seep through. And we don't want that. So I will go ahead with the Oh, I don't want to damage the page underneath either. So these are all things we need to think about and these are mistakes that when you start you not necessarily think of right if you don't know you're just gonna start putting glue and then realize uh oh your page stuck to the other one right and then you're trying to rip it apart and oh so once you develop reflexes um, because I don't know which of you are new with this and um, but it's you know even when you've been crafting for a while, sometimes you just forget and, uh-oh. You can always fix it. It's just, if you can avoid, <laughs> why not? Now, see, I'm going to regret the, hiding the tabs, but that's just the way it has to be for today. Because I love our tabs. I say ours because we did this, we did this together. And so far, I'm loving this tape from Tim Holtz. I will find new usage for that. But I am not kidding. I probably would may will make more of my own i am just extremely proud and happy of the result of the tabs we made together and if you haven't seen the video i really am think you should because <laughs> it's it was really a lot of fun and yeah i think it was just an overall awesome idea and the results are phenomenal must say I'm very pleased and nothing is like ungluing I mean I would have to really scratch with my nail but then again you can do that with anything right <laughs> so if you start scratching everywhere on your journals and papers of course it, things will start coming undone things will be ripping and ungluing clearly I'm dirtying the paint the fabric because I have glue stuck to my fingers hello okay oh I love this I'm gonna take ah see <laughs> I was right it's a good thing I put the paper underneath because it would have stuck to the other page I'm just gonna put more glue here spread it thin because yeah I will show through this okay I think this is good <clears throat> perfect so of course I don't want to leave it just black and my idea was to create a fabric pocket if I can find my other piece of fabric that I had taken out where is it okay I found it now I think this is not looking good it's half the page it's off balance and it makes a piece of beige fabric here and nothing on top so here's my idea we will cut the numbers off like so okay now we have the pocket perfect and this we will use maybe this way to enhance and so it doesn't look all alone down there i think this is the way to go it's a little long maybe i'll just cut a tad off like so yes this looks like it belongs like that and now we don't only have black and then we'll put paper in our little um, pocket and we'll decorate some more but that's the idea so remember we only did this because I really really disliked the the back which was blue with line and I didn't like it Okay, I need to put my paper because this will be glued in emptiness. See? So, emptiness meaning there's no paper underneath. And I really don't want it to glue on the page. So, I think I will use... Um, no, I'll still use the same glue. It's worked fine so far. I don't see why I should change. It's just because it was fabric on fabric. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think it matters much.
So now everything is glued. So now we can add some papers that I just picked a few. I think this would look nice. This is a piece of coffee stained paper that I made and stamped. More journaling space. This is what I picked earlier. I think it will look nice here and maybe this right there. There, you could put so much more because this is actually quite flexible. So now instead of having, you know, a page you didn't like, it's covered in fabric. It fits perfectly with the whole theme. Oh my goodness, he looks even better now. Look at him. This is amazing. Okay, I think we're doing good. So this is something I made the last craft. I don't, I'm a little confused in what I've posted or not. So I hope you forgive me for that. It's, um, it's easy to get confused because some videos will overlap. That's kind of normal. Overlap, is that the right expression? Anyways, so um, I'm thinking this should be glued or at least, you know, um, put a tab again because of the transparency I think it's fun to move it and you can certainly write in the back here if you have a little secret code or something <laughs> and there's all kinds of writing and I like the fact that if you write you will also you know how you see the hand whoops you're a little far aren't you so you see how you see the the writing in the back well I think the use of the transparency will just be lovely if you if you see a handwriting in the back so I think this beautiful little guy should go here and he adds a little pop of color in our page so I will back up again so you can see the ensemble um, I'm wondering if I use one of our tabs for this but you know what I have them and I'm getting a little lazy so I will use Tim Holtz again Ooh, hold on maybe mm. No, it's a little too much for this project. So I will keep going with this. Like so. Okay, so yeah, he is absolutely beautiful. He fits in there perfectly. Oh my goodness. So I want to put some white gesso on here a tiny bit. And I'm not going to be too worried about leaving a... Oh, you know what? I said white gesso, but now I'm thinking of something else. I pulled out these. Um, dress My Craft, I think they're called. I'm fairly certain. Is it Dress My Craft? Transfer Me. Oh my gosh. Okay. Tra <laughs> Transfer Me. Um, I think this would look lovely on the page. At first, I thought I'd put some white gesso, but now I'm thinking... To create some writing space, we can use the ephemera I pulled out earlier, but never used. Why not? So I'm thinking, what if I put something like that, something like this, and then glue this somewhere like so. Oh, yes. That would be lovely. So I will cut it out. And at the same time, for those of you who have never used these transfer me sheets, you will see how it's done. It's really easy. If I can remember it, it'll be easy. <laughs> uh, just wanna make sure I don't take part of the other image a little close. Okay. I like the other images too, but I like the idea of color. And there's a tiny bit of red here. I know it doesn't seem like much, but in the end, it shows. So keep in mind that this with the plastic will go this way. So try and figure out how you want it to look once it's glued. And especially if you want to glue things, you know, beforehand. So like me, I think, I think this is grayish. I don't like it. Um, let me see if I have something that fits. Ooh, first grab actually. And yes, hold on. I'm thinking maybe instead I put this here. I put, oh, I don't want to hide this. Maybe just, mm, or, oh, yes, like not quite. Uh, I don't, I don't like things being in the middle. 
like so. So that will be your journaling space. And you can also journal here. And then let's remember that this will technically the leaf will be to the right because you will glue it this way. So what if I put it like this? I know you can't see, but I assure you that this will look fabulous. So let me go grab some water. Okay, so I will glue these elements right there because I think they look beautiful just like that. Okay, so now the part we need to glue our transfer meat. So you need a paper towel, a tiny, tiny bit of water at the bottom of this plate. And first we will peel the plastic that covers the image. Now, of course, you could have put some uh, medium so that your paper doesn't get wet. I did not do that. This paper is quite thick and I will try and be very mindful of the amount of paper. Hopefully I don't ruin it and then have to cover everything with white gesso to correct my mistake. So, <laughs> okay. I, You know what? I don't even sure how much water I actually need because I seen somebody just go with this that was wet. But now I'm also worried because let me think for a second here. I'm worried because I'm I'm worried the paper towel will wet the rest of the page. And usually I would have put some medium. Oh. Okay, well, I couldn't bear the thought of destroying what we've been doing. It is so beautiful. And yeah, I can't risk wetting the page and destroying this journal we've we've made it together i don't think we'll finish it today because i have so many more ideas and i do think you will like them and so i don't think a session of an hour and a half every time <laughs> i don't know you know what i do need input so I would really love for you to write uh, in the comment section of this video if you like long sessions where I chit chat and explain how I do things or if you, I don't know, maybe rather fast forward or shorter sessions. I mean, some days we're in the mood for long videos, some days we're not, I can understand that. Um, and not everybody likes the same thing and I can't please everyone. I, I understand that as well. Just trying to draw it. <laughs> okay, that dries fast. Okay, now I'm not too much afraid, too afraid anymore. So, but yeah, if you can give me, so you just put it in here, just like so. And you want the water to go over. I didn't put enough water, so I'm just gonna move the water around over. I don't think you're close enough. There, you see how I'm putting water on the back? That's what you want. You want the back to be wetted. And that's why I'm not even certain that I have to plunk it in the water. Seriously, I think that was like not the smartest thing. And the reason is, that's how they tell you to do it. But I've seen someone else do it without doing that so and i kind of forgot before i started so i'm just gonna take the excess of water without touching the front because the front will land on your page you don't want to ruin that okay i'm gonna go back to this now i can kind of see the image through so i know which way i want it to be oriented and for me it will be this way now i will wet this or actually i don't think i have to i'll just start by pressing and I'll cut the excess right now. There. Perfect. Okay, so the idea oops, to have this image transfer is you want the top layer to start moving. I'll put you closer just so you see, you see this, this moved just like that, look. 
And if it moves, technically, it means the image is on your page. So you want to make sure it moves and then you slowly move it this way. And there you go. You gently. And then you can dry it with your dryer, which I'll do and I'll be right back. Okay, so isn't that just scrumptious? Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, I'm so happy. I remembered I had those. So just so we're clear, it's not that I made a mistake in the way I applied it. Be because in, how can I say? I think that like that's how they show you to do it. And on the other hand, if I had just glued the image and went behind it with a very wet paper towel until the layer of paper moved it would have worked perfectly and I'm actually quite certain that's how I did it the last time however my whole page was covered with um, matte medium so I wasn't afraid of putting the water because when you go with your paper towel you know or a sponge some can spill of course outside the image and then you ruin your page but I remember that time my page was completely covered. I was not worried about anything. And this time, this was not really covered a whole lot. So either way, they work. You'll just, you know, see which way is better for you. So I think this is absolutely delightful and delicious. <laughs> I am loving it. And you know what? I have so many ideas. Like, seriously, I have so many. They're I can't contain them in just one video so today I showed you how to do the transfer me I showed you Tim's holds new um, tapes and I really love them yeah this is just absolutely delightful I love that we covered this page with fabric so whenever there's one side of the page you love and not the other there's ways to go about it. You don't only have the option of gluing another piece of paper on top. You can glue fabric. And as you can see, it adds so much texture and richness to this journal. Do you have any idea how beautiful this thing will be when we're done? I cannot wait. But for now, I think this session, and remember our multi, our uh, Velcro glued tab, tag, tag, with tabs, <laughs> Offering so much journaling space, page uh, space. Wow. Ooh. Okay, it is time that I end this session. <laughs> I mean, there is so much more I want to do, and I can't wait to show you the other ideas. I have another idea of making something with such transparency. I just love playing with transparency, and uh, I will get that. You know, I will get that set up for you for our next session. Here, I'm just letting you know in advance, I will be thorn because it's too gorgeous to hide. And actually, I might play with the transparency idea on these pages because it is just way too scrumptious to destroy these pages. Actually, as we speak, I know exactly what I'm going to do, but you're going to have to tune in in the next episode. <laughs> I want to thank you for joining me for this um, crafting session where there was uh, no GPS, the driver fell asleep. We had no clue where we were going, as usual. <laughs> and we don't ask for directions. Of course not. But you know what? I think we did good. I hope I gave you beautiful ideas for your own. And um, I will say thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>